On the surface, confidence and arrogance can sometimes look similar, but in fact, deeper down, they're really quite different. So let's take a look at the difference. I've been watching a lot of Dragon's Den lately. <laughs> and one of the things that I've been noticing is how quickly the dragons are able to pick up on the difference between confidence and arrogance. They really like working with entrepreneurs and business owners who are confident, but I can see very clearly that they do not close deals with arrogant business owners. So let's look at a few things that they might be picking up on the difference between the two. So somebody who is confident, they believe in themselves. They have a good sense of self-worth. They believe in their abilities and their skills. And their sense of self-worth isn't dependent on what other people think of them. So even if they do something that disappoints someone or somebody disapproves of, um, they still know that they are valuable as a person, that they are competent, uh, and that they have good skills. Because they have such a good sense of self-worth, they're also able to admit to their weaknesses. They're able to admit to making mistakes because their sense of self-worth isn't tied to always being a certain way. And so in a leadership and management position, this leads to a lot of trust within the team because when you have, when you're confident, when you have a good sense of self, um, people trust you, you communicate more authentically, you're more transparent in your communication, and that leads your team members to trust you, which makes it easier for them to follow your lead. Now, on the flip side of things, we have arrogance. So in somebody who has a tendency towards being more arrogant, there's often an underlying sense of superiority or of being better than other people in this arrogance. And tied up in it is often an, an inability or a difficulty admitting to weaknesses or failures because the person's sense of self is really tied up in being well perceived by others and perceived as almost being flawless, being great at everything, being the best at everything. And because of this, it makes it harder for people to trust you if this is how you present yourself to the world because it doesn't feel genuine because nobody's perfect, right? It doesn't feel authentic and it doesn't build trust because there's almost a competitive vibe when, um, when there's somebody on a team who feels that they need to prove themselves and prove that they're better than others. Now, the reality is it's not black and white. We're not always confident or always arrogant, or at least most people aren't. Uh, I know within myself that I have moments when I slip into arrogance. And the thing is that when we slip into arrogance, it's often a sign of feeling insecure. So that's the first thing to notice, whether it's somebody you're dealing with on your team who, who has a tendency towards being arrogant, whether it's yourself who tends to slip in that, go within and notice that sense of insecurity. That's really what drives the difference between confidence and arrogance and drives the difference between team members being able to trust and follow your leadership.